Well, welcome to um, ALP and to ALP West. ALP West is a 49 acre industrial site, largely for logistics buildings, but other, other industrial uses as well. ALP's mission in life is to improve the stock of industrial buildings and in particular warehouses in Kenya and in the rest of East Africa. Well, as you will have noticed by now, it's not finished. Um, some of it's finished, some of it's being built, and some of it hasn't been even started. So for guys who are doing your course and your study, it's a chance to come and see a really large scheme, which you've got all three phases of those things going on. So you've got to deal with a site where you've already got tenants and you've got users in a building, you've got a contractor on site, and you've got land that you're still thinking about, still designing, might still yet change, yeah? So it gives you all of those sort of perspectives on a, on a major construction site. My name is Olivia Otieno. I'm a trained quantity surveyor and a construction manager. And I'm a lecturer at the Department of Real Estate, Construction Management and Quantity Surveying. First and foremost, I'd like to thank Africa Logistics Properties for the opportunity that you've given our students to come and see what you're doing. I believe from the questions they were asking, they have learned a lot in terms of quantity surveying, construction management, how to work as teams, issues on sustainability, uh, amongst many other things. The experience has been good. I like the fact that uh, our students are open to the current trends. Uh, they are talking about uh, green buildings, uh, green costing, and things that can be considered as um, trends in the construction industry. Uh, good afternoon, I am Irene Wamoyo from the Department of Real Estate, Construction Management and Quantity Surveying at the University of Nairobi. I mainly teach construction management and its affiliated uh, units. I want to thank um, ALP for having us here and for taking the time to educate our students um, because having that first-hand um, practical experience is important for our students. And it's also a good opportunity to interact with professionals for them uh, to see in real, first hand and real time what is done on our sites and to enable them grow um, their professional base as well as network as much as they can. My name is Mahesh Jani. I'm director of the construction company Mahesh and Teeth Construction Limited. We are main contractor, general contractor for ALP West Kenya. I remember 18 years ago when I was a student I visited a couple of sites and, and gained some knowledge and then uh, well that passion drove me through these industries and yeah so I, I believe that uh, it's a good opportunity for students uh, coming to our sites we we try to teach them train them and we also provide the attachment to the uh, university students well, my advice to the students is, number one, I would say it's ABCD of the construction, your attitude. Your attitude has to be very right and correct. Be, be yourself. Be flexible if you are interested in this field, if you are passionate about construction and, and construction related activities, then you should choose this field. This is a vast field. It gives the opportunity for you to grow beyond your, your limit. My name is uh, Givons Juma. I'm a quantity surveyor with uh, MES YMR. Regarding the, the site visit by the students, I think that, that's a good gesture uh, from ALP team because uh, you find that uh, most of the time the students uh, study theory work and when they, now they come to site, they interact with, with uh, the real implementation of the work. So they are able to appreciate. My name is Nick Nzioki. I'm a senior lecturer 
in the Department of Real Estate, uh, Construction Management and Quantity Surveying, in the uh, Faculty of the Built Environment and Design at the University of Nairobi. One of the things we benefit most is to expose our students to practical education. We don't want them to come with the theory and then they don't know what actually happens. We want them to understand concreting, how is it done on the site, measurements. We want to see excavations, how it is done. And for us, that makes them a solid student. LP, at least they have exposed our students to the work they are doing. There is massive construction. To the scale where we are here, where we are, this site will be well over 3,000, 300,000 square meters. Look at that massive construction where our students are being exposed with. We feel very happy and we encourage everybody who is to partner with the University of Nairobi, like LP, we carry on exposing our students to practical work.